About 196 Nigeria Army officers have resigned. Now 196 soldiers have tendered their registration letter to the Nigeria Army. Some of them are citing a competent and some of them also raise the issues of uh, not properly equipped. Some of them also raise the issue of uh, corruption. And some of them also raise the issue of so many other issues that we, you and I, generally no but then again the nigeria army will never uh will never admit to it maybe it's true or not true or not true some of all those things those uh, soldiers uh, cited that oh these are the reason why we want to resign and 196 none of them has has attained that retirement age young officers why Tired of the system, just resigned. Well, in every country, though, there are so many officers that may have decided to resign. There's some issues, personal issues that is personal to them. But in Nigeria, we keep just romancing the whole issue as if we do not know why those officers are resigning, as if the reason that they stated and not genuine reasons that you and I know of. Well, 196 officers. We just lost 196 officers. Gallant officers. Just resigned just like that. Abba. I think it's what the army chiefs, the big boss, should sit down and discuss and ask themselves why. Why we 196? Officer just resign like that. Let us know what is wrong. Let us try to work with them. Let us try to improve on their own demands. But then again, the army know exactly how to take care of themselves. Exactly how to do their whole thing. Let's go back to Edo State. So recently, Adamson Shomali was with the APC candidate for a uh, state governor. And this is what he said. We are going to provide you with insecurity. If we had some show more touching her like this, no way thing talk. He said, I am going to, if elected, I am going to provide you with insecurity. He said, if elected, I am going to provide you with insecurity. In as much as I have so much respect for Adam Sonshomole, eh? I have said it before. For me, Adam Sonshomole is still the best governor we have ever had in Edo State. And there's not anybody will tell me. That's my own personal opinion. And in as much of, as I have so much respect for Ad, Ad, Adam Sosomole, that one know me say I know go talk. Eh? Let me make this clear. When Babu tell us that, when that man told us that Nigeria from top to bottom, from top to bottom, you and I will laughed. We say, ah, not today, Apple, not today, Apple. Now just say, uh, cruise now, now just cruise now, now this and that now, now this and that now. Today, we call, where we did. Should I talk about this recent one? You know, waiting Apple for the past election. We feel there with Agbado, with Cassava, waiting you the chop now. <laughs> Sometimes eh, God pushes someone to reveal his or her innermost conscience. Somehow, sometimes, they do talk what they are not supposed to talk. But then again, it's left for you as, uh, as man eh, to know, to hear, and to pick sense from it. Or not. That's on your own. 
But I don't know if not the right candidate or not. I have never worked with him before. I never seen him work before. I don't know him for anywhere. The only person I know is Adam Sonshomole. So, I, and I know how credible Adam Sonshomole is. Whether I know credible, but he worked in my own village. He worked for us well. And I can testify to that. But the other man, I don't know. The one may call the promise insecurity, so for a do state. <laughs> Promising us insecurity. But, uh, okay, let's just watch and see now. And meanwhile, uh, the current Edo State Governor of Baseki just recently announced that because of the fuel scarcity and the issue we are having about fuel and the price of fuel now, that uh, the resumption of schools should be, should be placed on hold till further notice. May students no go to school till further notice because of the price of because of the prices, different prices of fire currently in Nigeria. Well, thank you for this gesture, Mr. Governor, but please eh, leave our student out of this. The best thing for you to have done, eh, just tell them, see, just tell, just announce that no worker should come to work. No worker should come to work. They should just stay home and you are going to pay them their full monthly salary. That is best if you want to do it. That is what other people are doing. Now, you, win, you don't know if the price of fuel will drop anytime soon. Nobody knows when the price of fuel will drop. No one knows. So let us say, if now in the next four years, now the price of fuel won't drop. So you mean our children to stay at home? That no school should resume? No, now. I bet. Open school so many people go to school. Open school so many people go to school. So that we can start training our leaders. Leaders of tomorrow. Open the school, please. You can decide to say, okay, you, you create buses for each, each uh, school. Yeah, that is also good. Now. It, it's something that can be actualized in all those government schools. To take home uh, kids and bring them uh, back to school. So that's why it's even way more better than saying all students should stay at home because of the fair uh, price. And there was, I saw a video yesterday and I was so crazy, I, I was so mad. This video seeing our able Nigeria people scooping foil. I don't know what actually happened to the foil tanker, but definitely something happened. And the uh, people started rushing, scooping the foil, and so on. We have seen a lot of disastrous uh, incidents before concerning foil. But yet, people know they hear word. Although they have succeeded now, because when we, we didn't hear of any disaster, they have succeeded. But that doesn't mean the next one that we fall, people will also succeed in successfully scooping the foil without any incident of fire. Please, when you see such issue, run away from that place. Run away from that place. Run. Please, no join their scoop for it. Let them succeed. You do not know if it's when you are coming to that place, now the thing will scatter. So run away from that place. Run. No. That's my advice for you guys. But before we end this video, let us listen to our president. You know, when he came back from, uh, I don't know, he's not back from China yet. Um, he's apparently back from China. I don't know whether I don't come back or, but he did a press conference recently. Let's listen to him. The more we want everything free, the more we want everything free, the more it becomes expensive to develop. That's it. It's, it's difficult. Uh, it's a good road, sir. I want to emulate and reflect it back home. <laughs> I want our children 
to be in good schools, not in tattered hordes and dilapidated uh, classrooms. You make teaching interesting and make business flourish. One economic action leads to another. It is in your hand to build our nation. Now is to provide the leadership that is necessary. And I'm committed to that. <laughs> it's not all about politics. If you are afraid of taking the hard decision when it is time to do it, you probably will not be able to build a national consensus any day, any time. So take action when it is necessary. We will do that. I promise you good governance. A lot of us, uh, <laughs> it almost choke us or I beg. These your actions you are taking. Uh, I hope, I hope there is something good in future because uh, we have lost hope as Nigerians. And it's not our fault. We have had so many leaders who have, who have had so many beautiful speeches before about national development, but at the end of the day, nothing to show for it. That is why most Nigeria will find it hard to believe the president. It is not Nigeria's fault. The only thing a common Nigerian man is looking for is food, availability of it. It will be Nigeria's fault too, because we have been deceived constantly. How do you not treat someone who has been deceived all his or her life? It will be hard for you to start rebuilding that trust. So no blame Nigeria at all for them not believing one word. The country is going through a very strong phase of reform. And this reform is taking a very bold and hard decision. For example, you might be hearing from whom now in the last few days about fuel prices. But can we help it? Can we develop? You use their good roads there. Eh? You see electricity being constant. You see water supply being constant and running. And you see their good schools. And we say we want to hand over a banner without staying to our children. What is the critical path to get us there? If we cannot take hard, painful decisions to pave the way for that country that is so blessed, so talented, so many of you talents here yeah, speaking Chinese and all you no know, their language. It is what you equally contribute and tell them at home that we reflect in the attitude of our parents. The more we want everything free. I don't talk my own. Uh, 
At the same vein, we will hear say one politician won't buy cars for traditional rulers. At the same vein, we will hear say one government or official don't do one big wedding. The same vein, we will hear say they don't buy one e laws, many, many cars. The same day that they buy buy properties, so, so I don't understand what they want to make we do.